Hi, welcome to my channel, Management Accounting Made Easy. This is Standard Costing and Variance Analysis Part 3. In this Part 3 of Standard Costing and Variance Analysis, we are going to cover Variable Overhead Variances. Under Variable Overhead Variances, we are going to see Variable Overhead Expenditure Variance and Variable Overhead Efficiency Variance. Here we are going to see Variable Overhead Variances. Overhead costs are indirect costs. Variable overhead varies with the level of activity. Variable overhead costs may vary with the number of units, for example, packing materials. Or variable overhead cost varies with the hour. If the variable overhead cost varies with the number of units, for example, packing materials, so the variable overhead cost variance will be equal to the variable overhead expenditure variance because the only variance we have to calculate is the variable overhead expenditure variance. But when variable overhead cost varies with hours, in addition to the variable overhead expenditure variance, we have to calculate variable overhead efficiency variance because variable overhead cost is varies with the hours. So efficiency is part of it. So if variable cost varies with hours, we have to calculate two variances, which is expenditure variance and efficiency variance. We are going to see an example for variable overhead variances called the Friendly Burger Company. So we'll see the question. Friendly Burger Company makes and sells burgers. The standard cost card per burger for the company includes meat $23.75. Direct labor, each burger takes five hours to make at $9.50 per hour, so which is $47.50. Variable overhead, five hours at $6 per hour, so which is $30. So the total variable cost is $101.25. And now we can see the actual data for the month of December. Production 22,000 burgers. Direct labor actual hours worked 130,000 hours. Actual variable overhead incurred $685,000. So here we need to calculate variable overhead cost variance, expenditure variance. In addition to that, we need to calculate the efficiency variance. As we can see in this question, variable overhead varies with the hours. So here we are going to calculate the variable overhead cost variance for our example the Friendly Burger Company. The question says, variable overhead cost per unit is $30, and the actual production 22,000 units, and the actual variable overhead incurred is $685,000. So now we are going to calculate the variable overhead cost variance. So we know we have to compare the budgeted variable overhead expenditure with the actual overhead expenditure. So the budgeted variable overhead expenditure, the company has produced 22,000 units. Each unit should have cost $30 per unit. So 22,000 times $30 is $660,000. But the actual variable overhead expenditure is $685,000. So we can see the variable overhead cost variance is $25,000 adverse because the actual variable overhead expenditure 
is 25,000 more than the budgeted variable overhead expenditure. As we know, at the end of every single variance calculation, we have to put either adverse or favorable variance. So here, it's a 25,000 adverse variance. Here we are going to calculate the variable overhead expenditure variance, for our example, the Friendly Burger Company. So we'll look at the question. The question says, Dalek labor, five hours per unit at $9.50 per hour. So each unit Dalek labor cost is $47.50. Variable overhead, $30 per unit. And direct labor, actual hours work is 130,000 hours and the actual variable overhead incurred is $685,000. So now we need to calculate the variable overhead expenditure variance. We know variable overhead varies with the level of activity. In this example, variable overhead varies with the direct labor. Therefore, the budgeted expenditure will be based on the actual hours worked. So we'll calculate the budgeted expenditure. The company has worked on 130,000 hours. So 130,000 hours times it by Variable overhead cost per hour, which is $30 per unit. Each unit takes five hours. So $30 divided by five hours, which is $6 per hour. So the budgeted expenditure is 130,000 hours times $6 per hour, which is $780,000. But the actual expenditure is $685,000. So the variable overhead expenditure variance is $95,000 favorable, which is $95,000 lower than the budgeted expenditure. So that's why the variable overhead expenditure variance is $95,000 favorable. In this friendly burger company example, variable overhead varies with the hours. So as we know, when variable overhead varies with hours, we need to calculate variable overhead expenditure variance and variable overhead efficiency variance. So here we are going to see how to calculate the variable overhead efficiency variance. So the question says, direct labor, five hours per unit at $9.50 per hour, so $47.50 per unit, variable overhead $30 per unit, and the actual hours worked is 130,000 hours, and also they have given the actual production, which is 22,000 units. So we are going to calculate the variable overhead efficiency variance. Efficiency is similar to the labor efficiency hours, which we have done in part two of our standard costing and variance analysis. So, we need to compare the time allowed with the time taken to see the efficiency. So, time allowed is five hours per unit. So according to the standard, no matter how many units you produce, you have to take five hours per unit. But in this question, they have produced 22,000 units. So for the whole 22,000 units, they should have taken 22,000 times five hours per unit. So which is 110,000 hours. But they have actually taken 130,000 hours. So, 20,000 hours adverse because they have taken 20,000 hours more. 
Now we need to times this by standard variable overhead rate per hour, which is $30 divided by 5, which is $6 per hour. So the variable overhead efficiency variance is $120,000 at first. As we have discussed before, the management is not interested in the number of hours. So we need to convert that hours into money value, which is the standard variable overhead rate per hour, which is $6, because this is the rate set by the management. So we need to use the standard variable overhead rate per hour, which is $6. So the variable overhead efficiency variance is $120,000 adverse. Now here we can cross check our workings. So the efficiency variance plus the expenditure variance must be equal to the cost variance. So the efficiency variance is $120,000 at first. And from the previous slide, we have calculated variable overhead expenditure variance, which is $95,000 favorable. So when we add them together, it will add up to $25,000 at first, which is equal to the variable overhead cost variance we have calculated. So our calculation is perfect. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. I'll see you in part four of standard costing and variance analysis.